love you All the good times we had, I wish I could repeat them For the past three months Love and feeling a little fever What's good, y'all? Today, we're going to be doing another MF Doom, but we're going to do something different. MF Doom and the Boondocks, Misfits in Arms. I'm personally curious. Honestly, I'm off today from work. I'm going to do a whole video about that. I'm going to do a whole video about that. How I feel, or have been feeling lately, about stuff in general. Um, yeah, so with that being said, let's tune into the video, let's enjoy the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and let's get into it. No, no, okay, mm. so I know not to double click. <laughs> by thanking our sponsor for financing the parts for this Frankenstein monster. You know, there isn't too many TV shows that I could think of that feature MF Doom's music. The one exception that does come to mind is the Adult Swim classic, The Boondocks, which I find to be quite fitting. As I mentioned in my previous two videos, media such as Doom's music is pretty esoteric, and I think the same argument can be made for The Boondocks. As it's a very compelling and thoughtfully written show, but due to its narrow appeal in terms of marketability, it's not exactly the most relevant to mainstream audiences. But that's exactly what I find so fitting. That The Boondocks, this misfit of a TV show, would feature the supervillain's music. Initially, I figured that MF Doom being featured and referenced so regularly on The Boondocks might have had something to do with the fact that these episodes came out in the mid-2000s, back when Adult Swim and Doom's relationship was at its peak. However, Adult Swim Vice President Jason DeMarco denies this saying that Aaron Magruder, the creator of the Boondocks, was simply a fan of hip-hop, and personally chose to feature Doom's music on his show. As a result, the Boondocks was a lot of people's first exposure to Doom, and it's not hard to see why. The show is littered with MF Doom songs, especially the 11th episode of the first season, titled Let's Nab Oprah. This episode revolves around Ed, Rummy, and Riley, playing to, as the title suggests, kidnap Oprah, but not before Ed and Rummy practice robbing a bank, which we watch play out over the track Strange Ways. Okay, let's roll. Bring cabbage. Nobody do a goddamn much. You best start acting like your mannequin or something. Like you the writers do a really good job at matching the themes of the scene with the lyrics of the track. Obviously, it came to portion up his fortune. Sounds to me like that old robbery extortion. Hurry up! Come on! You can't reform him. The next track to be featured in this episode is Raid which plays over Ed and Rummy's first attempt at kidnapping Oprah. How do hold heat and preach non-violence? He about to start speech, come on, silence. How man hold heat like when he's a speech girl? The last track to be featured in this episode is the iconic All Caps, which plays over the fight scene between Huey and Oprah's bodyguard, Bushido Brown. Keep your battery charged, he know it won't stick, yo. And it's not his fault, you get slow. Again, the writers perfectly pair the lyrics of the song with the scene. Additionally, in the closing credits of this episode, we get this photo of the Mad Villainy album cover. This video is brought to you by gifting me your Amazon Prime sub on Twitch. If you're already an Amazon Prime member, then you get a free Prime sub every month, and you can gift it to me at no additional cost as a way to support the channel. I'll leave a link to my Twitch in the pinned comment below. And if you don't have Amazon Prime, or simply just don't want to support my channel in that way, then that's fine too. Just leaving a like on this video goes a long way too, so thank you. In the 13th episode of the first season, the track Fancy Clown is featured on the episode titled Wingmen. As far as I can tell, it's only the instrumental since we don't actually hear Doom rapping. And once again, the writers are on point with their use of the music to match the themes of what's happening within the scene. In this particular scene, it's revealed that Grandad's old friend was involved with one of the women he liked. And the story within the track Fancy Clown is about the character of Doom stealing Victor Vaughn's girl. She was the prettiest thing. Something strange for a piece of change. <laughs> Shit. God damn. I love to hit this again. Shit. <laughs> I just couldn't forgive him. 
And similarly to the other episode, we get this image in the closing credits. This time telling viewers where they could find and purchase Mad Villainy. Now, this isn't a direct use of Doom's music, it's more of a subtle It's not because she's big, it's because he grown better, he matured better than she did, it looks like. And if you watch the episode, you'll know what I'm talking about. If you know Granddad in general, he has a big house and everything else. I think she said she had a kid, a few kids and this and that. And yeah. So, I mean, basically I'm just trying to say he won in life. Like my dad told me, my mom told me, like, if a girl do you wrong, don't be like, fuck every girl. Oh, that girl's fat and everything else. Talk shit about the girl because you love that girl. Why would you talk shit about a girl that you love? You just be like, okay, guess she wasn't for me. Call it that. And just win in the game of life. Chase your dreams. Focus on you. Be happy. That's all you really can do, to be honest with you. Trust me, it goes a long way. It goes a very long way. But let's get back into the video reference. The episode revolves around not snitching or cooperating with the police. And this scene in particular that features the Doom reference is about the subject of rappers dry snitching. Which as we all know is the whole theme behind the track Rap Snitch Canicious. The first reference can be heard in the background, as a beat that resembles the instrumental featured on Rap Snitches can be heard playing while Huey commentates over the situation. Ironically, despite the hip hop community being the driving force behind the stop snitching movement, rappers tend to snitch on themselves a lot. The second reference comes when the fictional rapper Gangs Delicious has this line that's very indicative of the MF Doom track. Hold on, hold on. Uh, uh, drop the beat, drop the beat. Uh, Gangs Delicious, reminds too vicious. EM, she's all day, mmm, delicious. Mmm, delicious, rap snitch, delicious. Now, this isn't actually part of the show, but I figured it was worth mentioning here. The official Boondocks mixtape, as you may have guessed, is a mixtape, and a compilation released by Asheru, the same artist responsible for the Boondocks opening theme. The mixtape features various popular and underground hip hop artists, with the most pertinent for this video being our favorite villainous MC who has a couple tracks on this tape. The 21st track being Old School, from the iconic Danger Doom album The Mouse and the Mask. Two tracks after that we get the second Doom track, Angels, off the album Born Like This. A second and a third follow up for the mixtape were eventually released, but none of them actually featured any more Doom. Anyways, was the Boondocks your first exposure to Doom's music? I'm curious to know how many of you guys actually watched the show. I'll leave a link to my Twitch and my Patreon in the pinned comment, right above an invite to my Discord server. Damn, I, I need to go watch Boondocks again, because I feel like I'm lo I lost, I missed out on a lot. Like, I honestly feel like I missed out on a lot. Like, <laughs> my girl texted me. Uh, um, y'all can't see it, I see it. That's on my, okay, all right. Yeah, she, she said, my... okay, anyways, <laughs> if y'all like this video, be sure to subscribe to my boy like it comment in this comment session comment section not session oh my god and be sure to like subscribe comment on this video that i'm making as well and be sure for the next video stay tuned peace